What's up everybody? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a wasteless functionality to your WooCommerce store. So when a product is out of stock, you can click on a little notify button and get a notification when the product is available again. They want to have this functionality so they can get either an SMS or an email when the product is available again. Also, we want to allow our users to set alerts for price changes. For example, when a product goes on offer or the price changes, all of these functionalities are available in the Morcan plugin that really does a good job adding weightless functionality to your WooCommerce store. And this is the plugin that we are going to use in this tutorial. So let's get started. So as I said, uh, we are going to use the Morcan or MC wishlist plugin now. They do have a decent free version that adds a wishlist to your website. But if you want to use the waitlist feature, you do need to install the premium version. And here we are on the product page, as you can see. Of course, it has a waitlist, wishlist, and multi list. We are going to focus on the waitlist. So if I just bring the page, you can see the features of the waitlist. We have the out of the stack product manager. That's a really cool feature it works with your other uh, lists for example if you have a wish list uh, it can work with that and then you can just do automation based on uh, these two things together and we have a price drop alert so that's cool we have pre-launch wait list so when a past product is going to go on a sale for the first time you can just get a notification we have flash sale wait list uh, we have um, exclusive access waitlist only for VIP users. We have price increase alerts, low stack alerts. So you get pretty much different kind of setups and different customization settings for your products. So this really is cool. And of course, again, you do need to purchase the premium version for this. So I'm just going to first install the free version of it. And then we are going to activate the premium version so that we can get access to the waitlist functionality. So I'm just going to bring my admin panel and then plugins and add new and simply search for MC wishlist. So this is the plugin is called MC wishlist, but it also does a job for the waitlist. So that's really great. So we are just going to install it. Now, the first time you activate it, you just get a install wizard. It's just fine. We're just going to skip it so uh, no that's ready now you can just get it later and if i click on this mc wishlist you can see that we have global and wishlist not the waitlist and that's because we have to install the premium version to also get the waitlist functionality now out of the box this is adding a wishlist functionality to my website which is free we have tutorials on it now this is overlapping but we have tutorials on it so you can check how to change this position and how to use it now for this tutorial, we don't need it, so we can simply turn this feature off when we install the premium version because we are only going to focus on the weightless functionality. So now I also have activated the More Convert Pro, which is a premium plugin that you have to purchase from their website and manually upload. So we have both of them activated. And now if I just bring More Convert, you can see that we also should get waitlist now. Let's just refresh. I think we didn't refresh the page. So if I refresh and bring more converts, you can see that the waitlist is now available. So first of all, I just want to turn off the wishlist. We don't need it for this tutorial. So I can just simply turn it off. It's up to you. You can save changes. And then I bring in the waitlist. So first of all, we just want to enable the waitlist. So let's just do that. And uh, then you can um, set the display. So is, is it uh, going to show to all users or only logged in users? Now, in this case, let's just make it simple and just do it show to all users. But you usually want this functionality to be only available to your logged in users. So I'm just going to do show to all users. We also have guest user lock. That's going to just uh, make the login required. We are just going to skip this and it's going to be available for all products again you can just set it for a specific products 
And then uh, we have notify for back in stock, notify for price change, let's just turn that on for on sale and for limited stock. So these are the four things that you can provide to your users. So I'm just going to turn all of them on. And then we have just some other options. For example, when the back in stock limit, the default is one, you can just increase it. We have the low stock, the default is 10, you can decrease it or increase it. So these are the features. You can just check these uh, settings. Uh, this is just okay. You can, for example, exclude some products or include some products. This is the general setting. You have more settings for the alert button for backing the stock notification. We have wait list and header counter. We will talk about that, but let's first save changes and bring the store. And now you can see that we have this little notifier. So if I click on it, you can see that here it just says product back in stock. Great. So I can just click on it and click on submit. And this is going to be added to my wait list. Now to visit your products and manage them, you just have to bring your my account page. So I'm just going to bring it from here. Now, of course, you can create a button for your my account and use any kind of thing that I like. But then we have a dedicated section for our wishlist functionality. And within here, we have our notifications. So all of our notifications are available. I can just change it into a grid if I want to. And I can, of course, remove it from notifications. So that's great. It also shows the reason I have added. So the alert. Now, of course, I can get more notifications. For example, uh, this product is already available. Now, if I click on this little bell icon, I have two options here, price changed or product gets an offer. So if I click on price changed, I'm just going to get a notification when the price changes. I can also do both. So when it just gets an offer. So that's really cool. So you have this options available to you. And the great thing is that you can really customize this. So if I bring my admin panel, I think I have it open here. This is of course a general, but we have the alert button. So you can change the position by default is top right. But if it's overlapping with one of your other things from your theme or any kind of reason you don't like it, you can change it. You can put it below or any works. A very nice thing is this use short code. I have uh, talked about this feature in my other tutorials, but basically it's just going to give you a short code and completely remove the positioning. So you are free to use it in your page builder layout. So for example, if you're using the pro version of Elementor, of course, you know that you can create templates for your WooCommerce products. Now this short code can help you. So you just use it and position your button anywhere you like. So I'm just going to keep it top right flex box, but you have it. You can change this from icon only to icon and text and even change the icon. So there are some icons available and even you can have a custom SVG icon there to make it match your brand. For example, if I just, let's just set it to this and save changes. Now, if I bring my store refresh, you can see that we have, uh, Okay, this is for single product pages. Sorry, I just have to say that. So if I just bring a product, you can see that it's only applicable to single product pages. Now this is changed, but you also have it for your product uh, archives down here. So on listings and loops. So you have the same options. So I can also change it from here as well. So let's just change it to icon and text and the very same icon. I can even change the color for both of them. Now, this is only for your product loops and archive pages. And the first one is for your single product pages. So you get two separate option here. And now you can see that um, if I bring my shop, the color has changed. Now, of course, as you can see, this line text is overlapping with my magnifier icon, but I can just simply change it, for example, to after the summary, save changes and refresh. 
now this is going to come here this is not the best option but you get the idea so let's just put it bottom uh, left and refresh and refresh and this is available so you have it and if you want to really control where it's positioned you can use shortcode and a template builder like elementor but basically you have a uh, top left top right bottom left bottom right after summary before add to cart after add to cart so we have pretty good positioning options this one is also nice so we have all of them available to us and then we have back in the stock notifier so we have out of the stock box which is just going to add something more visual and intriguing when something just goes out of the stock so if i save changes we are getting this out of the stock so if i turn this off and save changes and refresh we can see that we no longer have so this is something again cool because you can have a custom message here or custom color so that's also nice i really like this feature so it's just going to make you click on this notify me and that's nice so this is also available then we have the waitlist page so here you can change the display setting by default we have multiple tab lists so for example you have a wish list multi list and wait list is just going to create different tabs for each one of them you can have a single page separately for each one so you can change it and you can control the message and what information is displayed to your users and also the colors so pretty much good stuff here i really like these options and finally we have the header counter so we have this uh, short code available to us and we can just position it and it's just going to show the number of waitlist items that we have so you can put it in your header or footer or anywhere that you like maybe you have a custom dashboard and you just want to use that so this is also available to you and that's it everyone this is how you use this plugin i hope you like this tutorial if you like it please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel and like always you can reach our team from the link in the description